perfecting your prose with homophones and homonyms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our advanced vocabulary series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language. Homophones and homonyms. These linguistic quirks can make English more challenging, but they also offer fantastic opportunities for wordplay and humor. We'll learn about them, and then we'll work on using them creatively in our writing and speaking. Ready? Let's go! Before we jump into the exercises, let's quickly revisit what homophones and homonyms are. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and may or may not be spelled the same, like two, two, and two. Homonyms, on the other hand, are words that sound alike and are spelled alike but have different meanings. Bat, for example, can be a flying mammal or an implement used in games like cricket and baseball. Incorporating homophones and homonyms into your writing can make it more engaging and dynamic. You can use them to create puns or to add layers of meaning to your work. Here's a fun exercise. Try to write a paragraph that includes a few pairs of homophones or homonyms. To make it more challenging, see if you can use each word in its different context. Here's an example. When John saw the large saw in the carpenter's hand, he knew it was no ordinary visit. He had to bear the burden of breaking the sad news to his mom about the loss of their pet bear. Take a moment to come up with your own paragraph. While homophones and homonyms can be fun in writing, they're even more exciting in speech. They offer us the opportunity to play with words and to make our conversations more engaging. Now, let's do a speaking exercise. Try to come up with a short monologue or conversation that includes homophones or homonyms. Here's an example. Hey Mark, I think there's a hole in your story. I mean, literally, there's a hole in your paper. It seems like you had a tough night, night. Don't hesitate to record yourself. This way, you can review your pronunciation and fluidity. And that's it for today's lesson, folks. Remember, practicing with homophones and homonyms can improve your English writing and speaking skills. Don't be afraid to play around with words and to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. We hope you found this video helpful, and we're looking forward to seeing you in our next one. Happy practicing!